Hi, I'm Andy, uh, and this is a video about how to make levels for my new game, Rabbit Escape. So you can get Rabbit Escape from uh, the website artificialworlds.net slash rabbit dash escape. Uh, and then you can download it by clicking on install it and choosing your operating system. And then click this big orange button to download the jar file. I've already done that. I've got the jar file on my desktop here. Um, and I can run it like this. And I'll just show you what it looks like in case you haven't seen. I'm going to show you level three, which is called Build Your Way Out. As you can see, uh, uh, there's some rabbits and they need to get over to this green bit and you're going to help them out by building bridges. So for example, if I build a bridge here, they'll be able to, if I tell one to build a bridge there, they'll build a bridge and it will get them eventually towards the exit with another bridge or two. So this is what the level looks like. It's got walls around the outside, uh, various blocks and then a, a couple of slopes over to the left. So what we're going to do is have a look at that level, uh, have a look at the code for that level and try changing it and see if we can uh, improve this level at all. So let's just quit out from the game. So if you get the jar file that you downloaded and you open it in a zip file program like uh, 7-zip or WinZip or something like that, I'm going to use Archive Manager on my Linux desktop. Uh, and if you have a look inside this jar file, you'll find there's a uh, folder in there called Rabbit Escape and then inside there is one called Levels. And here you can see all the different levels that are in the game. We want to do easy level three. So if we have a look at easy, we can find a level called level three and just drag that out and drop it somewhere. I'll drop that onto my desktop. There it is. Now I could open that with my text editor. I'm going to use leafpad, but you might want to use notepad or whatever you're familiar with. And here you can see this is what level three looks like. So you can see the same thing. It's got blocks around the outside, uh, lots of blocks down the bottom, no blocks here, uh, and some slopes over to the left. And you can see this capital Q here means uh, the entrance and this capital O here means the exit. So should we make this level a bit harder? What if we put another block, another wall for them to get past here? Let's put another couple of hashes here. So you notice I'm deleting characters, um, deleting the spaces that was there and putting a hash there instead. Something you have to be really, really careful of or Rabbit Escape will get very annoyed is all these lines have to be exactly the same length. And even if they end with spaces like this, they've got to be the same length. So you've got to have enough spaces in here. So make sure you're really careful about that. We can also change uh, the description. So let's change this to build it. And let's change how many rabbits. Maybe there are three rabbits going to come in here, but you only have to save two of them. And let's say, uh, maybe you haven't got enough bridges. So let's give you a few more. Let's give you 25 bridges. When we're happy with um, what we want our, our level to look like now, we can save it. And then we can go back to our zip program. Um, make sure we're still in the levels slash easy folder. And then just drag in that, that, direct, that level that we saved back into here and drop it in there. And it will replace the one that was there before. Now we can run Rabbit Escape again like we did. Go back to easy level three. We should see the description has been updated. Uh, and also, if we look, uh, our levels changed. We've now got 25 rabbits, 25 builders. Um, if, that, if that's going to update. A few bugs in Rabbit Escape. 25 bridges left, uh, three rabbits coming out, and our bit of wall has appeared. So it's as easy as that to make a level. Uh, please do send me uh, your great ideas for levels. Um, I'm really interested to see them and hopefully um, if I really like them and you agree with that uh, I'd like to include some of them in the next version of the game. So um, I do enjoy doing that and I'll see you next time.